Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a new review. Behind us is the new fully electric Volvo C40. In this video we're going to take exterior interior details, check the infotainment. So without further ado, let's just jump into the review. So everyone, here's the new Volvo C40 fully electric model. Uh, it's a beautiful coupe SUV or more like a crossover. Now here is the Volvo key. We have the uh, panic button on the side of the camera I would like to focus. Come on camera. There you go. And then you have the lock, unlock, and the unlock the cargo. Key's pretty much plastic key. Uh, it's really light. It can have two different colors. Uh, this one's really kind of a vibrant, uh, complementary match. Now let's come a little bit closer. You can see the uh, Thor hammer lights are on. And uh, you can spec uh, basic LED lights or upgraded pixel lights. They're basically like matrix uh, LED headlights that have like 80 something for uh, LEDs individually and they can uh, create shadows and at five different cars in front of you and on the opposite lane. So uh, let's come a little bit closer, check those. So these uh, act as daytime running lights and they turn into turn signals. You can see four individual LEDs on the top and one big lens. Now, uh, over here, you still have the washers and you have the LED fog lights on the bottom. Uh, you can see 360 parking sensors and you can see the front grille is closed uh, because this is an electric car, so it doesn't need that much air intake. So we do have air intake on the bottom. There are flaps that open up when that's necessary. And then on the bottom here uh, of the front closed grille as well, there's just a little air intake there. Still a Volvo badge that is the radar for the emergency braking cruise distance. You have the 180 degrees fisheye lens. And what I do like about this particular crossover is that you have plastic that's not painted. So if you're going a little bit off-road, light off-road, uh, you're good. Alloys, beautiful diamond cut. These are 20 inch, I believe uh, these are the upgraded one. You can get the, a 19 inch, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If I maybe mix it up, then it's either 29, uh, excuse me, 20, 21 or 19, 20. But I think for this model, it was 19 standard 20 upgrade. Tire is 235, 45 R20. Um, of course, you get big brake discs on the front. I'm going to check the rear. So cutting this in, as you can see, 235, 45 R20, and on the rear, it's 255, 40, 20, uh, and you have the real uh, disc brakes on the rear. So the tires on the rear are a little bit wider for better stability on road. And just checking here a little bit, here's the VIN number, you have the smart parking card holder. Look at this nozzles, they really added a lot of them uh, in the wiper blades. Uh, Volvo's from Sweden, so they have a lot of salt, so they are prepared. Uh, you have the camera for the lane assist on the top here. And uh, this model has the dual color tone, so black roof and side mirrors. And then this beautiful kind of maybe uh, blue, navy blue color. I don't know their exact name because I didn't get the spec. Uh, you can see blind spot in the mirror and blind spot warning, piano black trim on the windows, tinted windows on the rear. I'm going to back up so you can see the whole car. It's really elegant, especially the coupe design over here. There's like spoiler on the top and on the rear. It looks super elegant. And especially on the rear. The uh, CX40 it's classical SUV design, but this I, I prefer this design-wise. Uh, here is your charging. So you have AC, uh, Tech 2, and then combine CCS uh, or the uh, DC charging up to 150 kilowatts max or 11 minimum on the AC or you can charge it on home outlet. And now you can see the beautiful uh, signature. I love this like dots and then it goes like a classical Volvo and then on the bottom would be turn signals everything is LED technology you have also the fog lights on the bottom 
Okay, if we look at it like this, you can see also a little uh, piano black trim on the bottom. I like these two pieces that are kind of sticking out. And then you have the spoiler. So look at this. There's a lot of air going there. Now I forgot from the top of my head. I'm going to write it down. I think it was something around 400, maybe 13 liters, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. So a very practical compact SUV and or crossover. You have the LEDs in the opening button. There's also a camera there. You can hear either close or a lock when closed. You can use your key fob. So there's like option to uh, wait with your foot underneath if you have groceries to open it easier. Um, on the top, there's also a light over here. You can close it if electronics fail. So the rubber stoppers here. You could remove these. So this is a big shelf. You can put some stuff here. And this is very practical. It's flat bottom, aluminum doorstep. There's a first aid here. You can put uh, golf clubs. So there's a tether point there. And we have a grocery hook here. Another tether point there. So on all four sides, there's tether points and both sides grocery hooks. Um, there's an LED on both ends. I don't see a 12 volt outlet. I thought this was supposed to be a 12 volt, but it doesn't look like it's openable. And you can see seats knocked down 60, 40. You can knock down <coughs> the middle from the inside. And you have those tether points, <coughs> excuse me, for the child seats. I put my back back to the side. You can put this like that, sort of. These are your also like grocery hooks. You can actually see that here. And then there's a little extra space underneath uh, enough for your uh, type two cable or your, in this case, it's a type two Shuko and like a home uh, charger. If I remove that, you can see how that looks. Uh, emergency triangle. And I guess there's like a patching kit in here. You can see how this sort of looks underneath. I believe this could be taken out. You can see how that looks. So kind of limited with the time, so we're gonna continue on. There's like five fingers of height here on the sides if you're interested. Let's close it up. Nice closing. I love how this symmetrically ends. You can also see a shark fin on the top. Good opening and closing sound. Checking the seals. You got seals all around, Door doors go all the way down, so you can see that. So it's good when you're washing a car, there won't be any water residue there. This is padded, it's nice leather, I love this. Excuse me, <laughs> I'm used to saying leather, but this is, this is actually vegan leather, so there's no real leather. This is man-made, but it looks nice, it's soft, this is plastic. Have a well-designed speaker, and this is all softly padded. I love this, I love the XC40 introduced this. It's like a carpet, but in a blue color and matches the exterior. And look at this, they even have this like textile <laughs> carpets. It's pretty cool. Uh, you have here little cubby spaces. And this is also, this, <clears throat> I know this material, this is recycled plastic, but this is man-made Alcantara. Love the contrast white stitches with this blue, it just, it's a good match. And then you can see the panel roof. It's closed, but it looks cool. You can here lower that. And you can see you have like really flat entry there. You can see the shelf on the rear. When you push this up, push that up. So when you knock this down, you can see that electronically it flips down the headrest so it doesn't get stuck here. Let's jump inside. So I was sitting on the front, plenty of feet room, okay knee room. I'm, if I was uh, not sitting, if someone average was sitting on the front, I'm two meters tall, so I really backed up. Uh, you would have more knee room. You can see AC vents, you can adjust to that, open or close. So there is a two USB-Cs here for fast charging. Again, this is so exquisite looking. 
have these for the nets. I love the Swedish flag here. And all together, I love the interior design. It's really premium looking. You have the speaker I wanted to mention over there in the seat pillar. Look at this. Just love the uh, Swedish <coughs> IKEA design and the materials. Adjustable cup holders, this is rubber, the rest is plasticky, and uh, this goes up so you can open it from the inside and the outside. Of course, this is adjustable, and this is a coupe design. So, because of the panel roof, the seats are not uh, reclinable. <coughs> Uh, a little bit limited. I guess an average person would be okay. I have my sunglasses, but it's a tight space. For our kids, it'll be okay. Uh, they did kind of try to add some space, but it's kind of limited. You can put here a, like a pet net. Uh, these are Dutch. You can see that a little bit closer. And there's a little hook there, adjustable and all. Well, actually on the front, you only have the handles for some reason. Beautiful front. Let's go to the front and check it out. Solid op opening and closing in the front as well. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. There's other press people who would like to review this car as well. Harman Kardon speakers. <clears throat> this is where I'm a little bit disappointed. I like this design, but it just feels a bit plastic. You have the Memory seats, lock, unlock from the inside, adjust the power mirrors, all electronic windows, you can lock the rear for the kids, and you can see really a lot of space there. Recharge aluminum doorstep, tire pressure information. You can see how that looks without the protective paper. You can open it here, there's an OBD port. I uh, love the seats, you can extend this. Lumbar, classical front and rear up and down for the knee area, whole seat, and the tilt. Again, gorgeous looking. Of course, the roof is tinted same as the rear windows. Let's jump inside. Once you sit on the seat, there's a sensor that triggers, and you just press the brake and put the car into drive. So you can only have your key in the pocket. There is no key here. Good closing sound, and if you just zoom out, you can see the beautiful point of view. Hopefully there will be a point of view driving as well video, so subscribe. Zooming back in to wrap it up. This is soft, you have the speaker there. Parking car holder, Harman Kardon speaker. Classical uh, Volvo design, uh, looks exquisite. This is a new infotainment, the changes. This is a little bit plastic, but you have that texture there slowly opens you have the rubberized compartment fairly spacious there is a little space on the top as well and mm, don't see an ac vent there you can see how they've left an open for the right hand drive <coughs> system you also have this kind of pockets there 12 volt max 120 watts usb c for fast charging ones for media wireless charger for your phone a uh, little space there it's rubberized automatic park also two cup holders you can put a phone there there i guess this is for the supposed to be in the rear this is to remove the lug nut caps and this is fairly, fairly spacious there's a big rubberized carpet on the bottom there is a key symbol here if your battery is low you put it here the seats are quite comfortable. You can extend that and love them. You can, of course, adjust the, uh, I believe you can adjust the headrest height at least. I forgot, I know Volvo has this design. And you can see also the front, how this looks. LED lights are on the top. You can turn them on or off. Quite good, you have the speakers there for your uh, Bluetooth calls. And <clears throat> over here you have the documents holder and privacy mirror with a light that's consistent with the rest of the interior. There's also another speaker here. And everything looks super quality made. This doesn't extend, but it covers most like uh, unlike the other cars. And on the front two meter height, loads of headspace. 
And I'm not going to go in deep into the infotainment. Um, so we have your uh, light switches here, wipers there. Um, classical Volvo, you have it quite good texture here. I'm not sure if this is man-made leather as well. It's a three-spoke steering wheel, classical Volvo. Here's your cruise controls, distance, voice commands, uh, infotainment there and here. This is like your home button. In the bottom you have hazards, max blow, rear defrost, volume, um, forgot what this is for, and this is the new infotainment, so they switched the AC here, so there's like fan speed here, there's options here. Uh, I'm not going to go through these because I just limited with the time. Just to show you Google Maps, you have charging points and everything there. And you have here multiple options. Before, I think they used to have like two pages, now it's a bit different. Um, you have this type of design. I don't think there's like, yeah, there's this pull down menu, but it's very basic unfortunately i don't have the time to go into depth this but the screen graphics looks okay and over here you can see that if i press the brake put the car into uh, drive you can see the display there i think there's probably day and night theme uh, you can see here how it looks and there's cameras here so uh, if i'm not mistaken have the front and rear camera uh, I guess, yeah, if you go to reverse, actually there's a 360, excuse me, then there were cameras on the side mirrors. You can see a 360 view and it's quite uh, sharp. So if you want to stop, you just put a park. So the rear window doesn't go all the way down. You can see that. Now let me just put it to drive. Going forward and then going to reverse there's like a little ding ding sound when reversing nothing when you're going front but this is nice you have the maneuvers for the wheels and windows are maybe a little bit noisier but it's okay put it to park <coughs> and over here <coughs> excuse me over here you can see like a classical view uh, or you can see uh, the maps. I'm pretty sure there's multiple options here. So if I click here, you can see your trip and you can close the menu. Now, honestly, I just didn't have time to play with this. Uh, just uh, the car is late on the market and wish I had more time, but uh, I think this will do. And the car, it looks great. Um, looking forward to take it for a spin so if you want to see that take a look and to wrap it up here opening when you uh, go outside the car and open a door parking brake engages so you don't really have to press the park button there's here on the very edge of the right side uh, like a front area you can see that so there is a front I don't know the number of liters for this one there's like a patching kit here so on the rear there was i think like a lifter or something like for towing so this is the patching kit my mistake and here is the washer fluid for your uh winter days and air wafer technology they didn't mention that so that looks really interesting i guess they give you a little bit more sound inside This is, of course, a uh, dual motor, so front and rear electric motor with a bigger battery. I'm going to put the technical data in the video description in a link, so check it out. So just a little bit driving on the closed private parking. So it's pretty punchy and uh, it has classical you can drive it uh, by using the brake let the car uh, use its inertia to move or you can use the one pedal driving so you can recuperate while, while letting go uh, the brake 
and you can see how good the camera is it's really practical when you have a 3d honestly i wish i had this on my tesla and cutting to sort of night theme you can see the daytime running lights i'm just going to do a little walk around the car again a gorgeous side profile and again i love those led tail lights very unique and cool looking you can see you open the cargo And I'm just going to come to the front. Illumination inside and check to the front. Now look at this. I've noticed this at night. It's like 3D shapes, but I guess they have different colors. I don't think this is ambient light. If this is just like maybe a reflective surface actually is this an ambient light i can't tell look at this this looks amazing it looks like some sort of camo i'm like blown away and here is the entertainment you can see everything illuminates white or some sort of warm lights there if I switch to wide lens, you can see that. Just looking really, really gorgeous. And that was it, just a little preview. So let me just push the brake. Um, towards myself, of course. And you can see here the visual cockpit at night. Now, once you lift your bottoms up the car engages the parking brake so that was the quick look at night of the beautiful c40 recharge with dual motor and bigger battery so just film uh the point of view driving different model and to show you here you have the uh light uh, the excuse me the brightness for the illumination and you have the uh button to open the trunk from the driver position, this might be. Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Be a cool person, smash the like button, leave your comments below. How do you like the new C40? I really love the design, the coupe look on the rear, and those unique LED taillights. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Stay safe, and if you wanna subscribe, it's completely free. Click the little bell to get notified when I upload more videos. Bye.